All right, let's look at the modes of operation for MOS transistors. When we look at the modes of operation for MOS transistors, they're defined by their terminal to terminal voltages. So for instance, when we say VGS, what we mean is VG minus VS. And the modes of operation are going to be determined for a MOS transistor based upon the threshold voltage. Now it's important to note that the threshold voltage is not equal to the T, the thermal voltage that we talked about with bipolar transistors and diodes. So here we have our transistors. I'm going to arbitrarily label the drain and the source. And our PMOS transistor, again, I'm going to arbitrarily label the drain and the source. Note that I put the drain on the top for the NMOS and the drain on the bottom for the PMOS, oftentimes noting that the drain is the highest voltage for the NMOS and the lowest voltage for the PMOS. So in the cutoff region of operation, we know that VGS is less than VTH. For a PMOS, if we just reverse the subscripts, and take the absolute value of the threshold voltage, the equation looks identical. Now, once the VGS is greater than a threshold voltage, the transistor is on, and we can check to see whether it is in triode or in saturation. For both triode and saturation, the base condition is that the device has to be on. In other words, it has to be conducting current. Here we can say for our transistor in triode region, VDS will be less than VGS minus a VTH. N and VSD will be less than a VSG minus absolute value of VTH P. E. Now when the device is in triode, it behaves like a linear resistor. Where the resistance is dependent upon the gate to source voltage. When the device is in saturation, VDS will be greater than VGS minus VTH in. For the PMOS, VSD will be greater than VSG minus the absolute value of VTH P. When the device is in saturation, it behaves like a current source, a voltage dependent current source. Now, just like for a bipolar transistor, we can look at characteristic curves for a MOS device. Here we have a plot of the drain current as a function of the drain to source voltage. And ideally, we would get some DC current values that look like this. For different values of VGS, we would have different currents. We generally say that the device is in cutoff when no current is flowing down here. When the VDS is less than VDS sat, we call it in the triode region. Sometimes the triode region is also called the linear region because it's behaving like a linear resistor. When VDS is greater than VDS sat, the device is in saturation. Now, one thing to note is that sometimes VDS sat, the saturation voltage, is also called 
the OV or the overdrive voltage. In the next video, we will look at the modes of operation in a little bit more detail to understand what currents flow when the device is in cutoff, triode, and saturation.